Hey everybody, Stephen Hostetti here. I am a faculty member at South Mountain Community College, been teaching programming for a little over 30 years here, and I am the coordinator of the Programming and Mobile App Development Program. I want to tell you a little bit about careers in programming and mobile app development and why you should consider this if you're looking for a good career, and then kind of what our program consists of and why you should learn programming even if you don't want to be a programmer. Every year, US News and World Report comes out with their top 100 jobs in the United States. And for the last two years, the number one job of the best 100 jobs has been software developer. The average salary is right now about 102,000 a year. And in Maricopa, it's a little less than that, about 94,000 a year, that's the average. If you look at the top 20 jobs of the top 100, all the ones here in orange are medical physicians. So right now the medical field is a really good field to go into, but in a lot of these cases, such as dentist, orthodontist, pediatrician, obstetrician, physician, require a whole lot of schooling, going to med school, which is hard to get into and very expensive. And the average debt coming out of med school right now is $190,000. And that's the average. That includes those who come from wealthy families who don't incur a lot of debt. So 14% come out owing 300,000 or more out of medical school. Software developer, you can get in this field uh, with just some good skills. You don't even need an associate's degree, although that helps, but we can help you get those skills. And it's all about how good a programmer you can be will get you those jobs. I think it's good to, to learn programming, even though you may not be planning to become a programmer or want to go into this industry as a career-wise, because if you know some programming, you can create applications for yourself to make your life better and be more productive. So a lot of the programs that I've created and I've ended up actually selling to others are stuff I created just for my own use. I'm gonna give you an example of how that might come into play here. And the process we go through is we have a need, we design our program, we create the interface, we code it, we test it, and then we deploy it. So very quickly, here's the problem. It's Thanksgiving day, you're up at grandma's house in the White Mountains. The big thing after Thanksgiving dinner is the annual Monopoly tournament for bragging rights in the family. As you are setting up Monopoly game, your Rottweiler zeroes in on the dice, grabs them and swallows them. What do you do? Grandma lives in the White Mountains, off the grid, solar energy, propane, the closest store on Thanksgiving Day that might have dice for sale is probably at least 90 minutes away. So we're talking a three hour round trip. How do you solve this? We can put pieces of paper in a hat, draw those numbers out of a hat, but you know somewhere along the line, Uncle Joe's gonna try to cheat. He's got some numbers tucked in his long sleeve shirt. He's gonna pull them out. So let's find another solution. And that solution is that you have a laptop with you and you have a phone and or a tablet with you. And in about 20 to 30 minutes, you can create an app on that phone and pass it around let people die, roll the dice that way. So here's what we call a storyboard, just a design what this thing should look like. We're gonna have two dice that are rolled when the user clicks the rolling button, and we're gonna keep a history here. So again, when Uncle Joe tries to cheat and says, hey, I rolled a six that last turn, you can go, no, Joe, look here, you rolled a seven. The computer says so. And for little five-year-old Billy who can't add very well, our app actually shows what the total rolls. It does the addition for him. There's also a button to clear the history. And then I go in and I create the interface in a program like Visual Studio, which is free and then I code it. All the code in this button to make the dice roll is just this code here, these nine lines. So here then is the app running on my phone, and I'm just gonna press the rolling button, and you hear this little sound effect I put in here, so you hear the dice rolling, and it rolls a six and a four. It tells Billy he rolled a 10, so he doesn't do the math, and then down here is keeping track of the rolls. If you have questions, I invite you to contact me via email or phone, have a great rest of the day, and thanks for listening to me.